we're going to look at the pelvis on this particular section. So he, here's the left pelvis, right pelvis. But on a test, don't use the word pelvis. Use oscoxa or coaxial bone, which is the entire thing. Okay, this is a posterior view, so you're looking at the back side of the oscoxa. And there is the front side, the anterior side. Okay, the oscoxa is made of three bones. The ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. On the posterior side, ilium, ischium, and pubis. Okay, the iliac fossa there's an anterior and posterior, so we're on the back side here, so posterior. There's iliac fossa, that little divot that you see in the bone there. And then on the anterior side, there's the fossa as well. Okay. Iliac fossa. Iliac crest is all of this. So this top part here, that's the iliac crest. So let's isolate this. There's iliac crest going all the way back. Okay, the sacroiliac joint. So this is the articular surface of the ilium. So on the sacroiliac joint, this is the iliac part. The sacrum has its part and let's put the whole thing together. So right in that area, you create the SI joint. So if we fade it, you can see how that joint is made, where the sacrum, the ala of the sacrum, comes in and articulates with the ilium part. So that's your SI joint or sacroiliac joint. This is the pubic symphysis here in the front. It's where the pubic bones come together to make the pubic symphysis. If you add the connective tissue, you can see specifically the pubic symphysis and the connective tissue that connects the pubic bones. Okay, acentabulum is the socket part of the ball and socket joint. So let's isolate it. So there's your um, socket, the acentabulum. Okay, the ischial spine, it's on the posterior aspect. So all this is the back side. And there's the um, right here. There's the ischial spine. So there's the ischium. And this bump that sticks off is the ischial spine. Okay, there it is as well, right there. Okay, obturator foramen is this big hole here. Remember, a hole in bone is called foramen, obturator foramen. Okay, PSIS, also known as the posterior superior iliac spine. So you're going to have to know anterior and posterior of the pelvis. So this is the anterior side. Here's the posterior side. So follow the iliac crest back until you until it ends right there. That is the PSIS, posterior superior iliac spine. And below it is the posterior inferior iliac spine, or PSIS. On the front side, the anterior side, if you follow the iliac crest around, you will bump in where it ends, you'll hit the ASIS, anterior superior iliac spine. And there it is there, anterior superior iliac spine. And then below it, the AIIS, anterior inferior iliac spine, right there. 
And the ischial tuberosity is your sit-down bone, and that is on the ischium, and it's right here. So let me add the entire pelvis so you can see. Right here, that's where you sit down, there and there. So the sit-down bone, ischial tuberosity.